One morning in early July, I woke up at stupid o'clock. It was around 5 a.m. and something called me outside, so I stepped out of the house. And then I saw this. Welcome to vlog 18. This time I've looked it up. <laughs> and actual summer in Croatia. I had two weeks off work this month. And I'm actually doing something for work now as well. But it this is purely by choice. And I will show you what it is. And then you'll understand why I'm doing this here. I just thought... Oh no, I can't do it. It's work. I can't do it. It's work. And then, and then I thought, I'm supposed to do at this, in this time off, I'm supposed to do what I feel like doing. So why deny myself what I really, really want to do and what would really give me a lot of joy right now? So I stopped <laughs> denying myself and I've had so much fun. And yes, I've had a lot of rest and a lot of time at the beach and time with friends as well. I'm going to show all of this and I hope that you're going to enjoy it. So this work project concerned my website, which in, in all its incarnations over the years has always looked a little hand knitted by a five year old. <laughs> and so I created this beautiful professional looking website that expresses everything I am and stand for so well. Go check it out. I'll leave a link in the description below. And while you're there, go to Wild Freebies and join the community of Wild Spirits by signing up for the 100% Spam Free Wild Spirits news. But the biggest news is that I also have a separate German website now at wildspiritscoaching.eu where my German speakers can go to kostenlos and join the German speaking community of Wild Spirits. So that's what I've been doing. But of course I didn't just work all the time. Here's some footage from Milenka's birthday too. Obviously, a party going on, but look at that red moon. And something behind me is calling, and something else is answering. What a night! As often as I could, I went to the beach. And when I say beach, I mean beaches, because I believe I've tried out every beach on Kvarna Bay in these past few weeks. nearly nine in the morning and we still haven't had any rain and thunder and both were forecast for this morning and I just hope we'll get them and if this sounds strange then consider that a lot of forests in southern Europe have been on fire including in Croatia further south and also around here not too far away in Istria and central Istria and while this is a very wet place normally and has never burnt before we do have climate change and 
we haven't had any rain in a couple of weeks and then it just takes one idiot to drop a burning cigarette in the forest. I think it's happening. It's just, just a minute ago it started getting windy. Yes, yes, yes. It's about five minutes later. Oh, wonderful. I want to go outside and get so... going on about the light again but seriously look at the light As you can probably hear it's still kind of raining all the one fairly dry I think it's mostly the wind that shakes the raindrops off the leaves there's a bit of almost sunshine here there's definitely light see the rain. I look weird too in this light. Kind of illuminated, don't I? It's very, it's very special. And the strange atmosphere and those colors, I just cannot get over it. Every morning before it got too hot, I spent about half an hour or an hour in the garden. Because that jungle that Keith cut back only six weeks earlier had already grown back to knee or even thigh height in some places. So I cut my way through the nastiest of brambles with wearing the lightest old clothes with holes that I own. And of course, I feel like Sisyphus because it's all going to grow back again. But for the time being, I just need to keep it under control. Come the autumn, I'll be able to burn off the remaining roots. There is no way to dig them out. There's so much, there's so many rocks there. It's covered by so much. It's hard to even get, get to the soil. This has been a jungle for so long. So for now, I'll control it and then in the autumn I can I can start salvaging the soil and replenishing it. All right. Calling it a day. I need a shower. <laughs> so, I'm done with this part. And everything else can wait. I've prevented the jungle from re-encroaching on me. Once autumn comes, I'll I'll get rid of this stuff, the stuff that I cut. I'll clean this off, let it breathe, and then next year I can hopefully plant some things. So yeah, that's where I stand and look at this. This is the mountain of shit <laughs> that I've cut off. On one of the hottest days, I drove down my favorite coastal road to Istria taking a lot of breaks to avoid getting heat stroke. Along the way, I stopped in the same place that I showed you in March 2020. Here you see them side by side on the right, the brown winter vegetation and on the left the lush green of summer. I spent the afternoon with Vieran in Pula.
We had lunch together and then walked across the city and up a lot of stairs to the fort where there was an exhibition. So what am I looking at? Fort, I think, originally built by the Venetians. And Yeran had to leave to do some work at some point and I thought while I'm in Istia already why don't I drive up the coast a little further and go to my favorite town the Wien. Then I went to my favorite cocktail bar, the Valentino. Yes, it's a bit touristy, but it's ridiculously gorgeous. You sit there on soft cushions, literally on the rocks just above the sea. And if you don't go there at sunset, you're doing it wrong. But really, there's so much beauty right here at home as well. And it's one of those evenings where I think, fuck, I live here. <laughs> Look at that view. Who needs luxury resorts when they have this? And that was it for today. I hope you liked it. Don't forget to comment, like, subscribe, and I'll see you very, very soon. Bye.